You can also listen to us on SoundCloud at soundcloud.com forward slash the clock cleaners. Hello and welcome to episode 28 of the Clock Cleaners Podcast. I'm Matt. And I'm Keith. And today we're going to be talking about the WWE product leading into the Royal Rumble. Yes, the go-home shows. Yep. Um, didn't think Raw was as good as it was last week. Well, I think it's just because of uh, the lack of of uh otis dozovich that's 100 percent. he was there but he wasn't as interesting this time i mean he wrestled it's true and he did the caterpillar he did entertaining and um yeah that was about the biggest reaction they got was when he did that Mm -hmm. outside of that i like heavy machinery i got no problems with them i like their theme music (laughs) because it's just like the (laughs) girders backing up um uh well no, what I was going to say is they're probably the best call-up of all of them, except for maybe Nikki Cross. Mm, as far as what we've seen no, of like them what, so far? what we're interested in. Oh. In I mean, terms of what they could do. I know that yes. you like EC3. But. Yeah, because I think he'll thrive on the main roster. It's possible, but although they've really done a pretty bad job of... I guess he's a mute, right? <laughs> yeah. Because he's been on TV, or he's been featured on the screen multiple times yes. but it hasn't said a word yet either in picture in picture or backstage yeah. this week with dana brooke yeah right yeah he didn't he didn't say anything did he i don't think he did yeah she was talking but i don't think he was yeah that sounds about right so um so i, I was reading the uh viewership for this week's show ah. i think it started out at about 2.8 million and then by the end of the show it was 2.1 and just by watching the show, and this is kind of how I felt as well, mm. leading up, I was like, what's in the third hour? Tag we team found, wrestling. We found where the crap was buried. Yeah. I mean, yeah, that, that was what it was. It was like, eventually, it's it's bound to happen. It's going to be there. It, yeah. Every Raw has some sort of crap in it. That's true. It's a three-hour show. It's, it's expected. It's just interesting that they decided to have three tag team matches in a row to end Raw yep. of all shows. Mm-hmm. Which is fun. I mean, they. I guess the women's tag titles will be pushed after Royal Rumble because that's Elimination Chamber yeah. is the mm-hmm. pay-per-view we after. So they're mm-hmm. not really going to do anything no, leading no, no. up to that. No, no, no. Um, that would make no sense. Yeah. I think it was all right that they announced it beforehand. Yeah. But they shouldn't be building anything until after. No, I mean. Because they don't just... know who's going to be in it. They don't know who's going to win the Rumble. So they're automatically taken out of that story. You're saying they don't know what's going to happen? No. Well, they... Don't 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 you dare <laughs> say that they actually know what they're gonna do. No, because they a crazy convert- old man yeah. that decides the day of the pay per view what's yeah. gonna happen. So he might have an idea, but there's no way for sure that they know exactly what's gonna happen. No, all right, fair enough. So you but, make a somewhat valid yeah. point. Like there's no guarantee that Sasha won't win the titles and or title, the women's title, obviously. Yeah, and, and so on and so forth. So that doesn't make any sense to build a storyline ahead of a, a different pay per view. That was yeah. all I was getting at. Fair enough. Fair enough. I um, mean, but I mean, just planting seeds. That's it. Yeah. Because I mean, you, I don't know. That's that's one of the things I hate is that after a pay per view, you have like a complete refresh. At least mm-hmm. if you have some storylines that continue to go through that don't get featured necessarily. They have that. that with the Iconics because they said that they were going to win the Royal Rumble okay. and then be. They did say that. So. That was last week, right? Yeah. yeah. So, but right. my, the point is that they're they're interested in the titles. So, yep. and that's probably the only thing they're going to be talking about for a long time. Oh yeah, most likely. So, um, but yeah. Oh, called it. Rusev versus Shinsuke for the U.S. Pre-show. title. Pre-show. Yeah, I know. I thought they announced that yesterday on SmackDown that it was going to be on the pre-show. Okay, I didn't see that, huh. and I called it. Okay, I don't think there was anybody that was going to argue with no, you. definitely not. No. All right. Um, so, I mean, what is there to talk about as far as Raw goes that's actually meaningful? Um, well, Brock Lesnar was on TV. He was, and he actually stayed for a little while. Yeah, he wasn't, he wasn't like, in the ring for five minutes and then left, mm-hmm. or didn't even make it into the ring, which he has done a few times. It's true. Um, but, yeah, he, him and Heyman come out to start the show, actually. Um, and then, uh, what was it, Braun came, or Vince came out first. Vince came out. Vince came out first, yeah. and then Braun. And Braun wanted to, or he was pissed off because he lost his title shot. 
And then uh, Balor ended up coming out because mm-hmm. they were kind of making fun of Balor for being yeah, small. Yeah, they were trying to sell the whole David versus Goliath thing. The mm-hmm. old Bible tale, I think, as Vince said. He yeah. went and ate mushrooms or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't Vince know where this crazy it. old man is coming up with stuff. The yeah. tired old man. Yeah. He just needs a nap. He's definitely losing it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it ends up being David versus Goliath in the form of Finn Balor versus Braun Strowman. Yeah, because Strowman said, um, I could have beaten Brock Lesnar, but I don't think you could have. Mm-hmm. And Finn went. You know, the usual nonsense. Yeah. That led yeah. to the match. Finn's like, well, let's have the match. Mm-hmm. Um, and he's told Lesnar and Heyman to stand outside the ring and watch the match yeah so for whatever reason yeah so well, we end up knowing yeah, why, yeah, 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 but yeah it doesn't really make any sense during the course of the match until the like halfway point more or less yeah <laughs> yeah um so it starts off with Braun just beating the crap out of mm-hmm. finn which is to be expected yeah yeah um eventually mm-hmm. finn kind of counters back yeah he got a little offense in on Lesnar on the outside. Yeah. Well, well he got. Th- he also got thrown out of the ring, and Lesnar caught him. And yeah, he, and the German suplexed him onto the, the ground. And the referee watched them do it and didn't disqualify nah. him. No, that's cool. It's on the outside. <laughs> yeah. Well, technically speaking, they've definitely done that before, where they DQ'd people. For, oh yeah, yeah. For yeah. less, there's that is always going to yeah, be the case. Is the that place. it's never going to be consistent with something mm-hmm. else. Yeah. Um, but eventually, Balor is able to hit a coup de gras on uh, Strum. on Strowman, yeah. and then uh, Brock Lesnar rushes the ring, picks up Finn, hits an F five, and I guess he wins. Yeah, Finn wins by DQ. Yeah, yeah. So. Um, I, I mean, I thought it was fine the way they ended the match. I didn't. Oh no, there was it, nothing it wrong. Seemed with it. like the yeah. right call to mm-hmm. make. I don't know. People seem to be think it was. The wrong decision. I don't know why, but it was the only one that seemed to make sense. Well, the whole reason why, supposedly, they took Braun out of the title match was because they didn't want him to lose. Lose again, yeah. So So why would you want him him to to lose? lose? (laughs) Yeah, that too. Yeah. Um, I think he spoke with ESPN on Sunday, maybe, uh Balor, and said he wasn't bringing the demon to the Rumble. Well, that means he's definitely going to lose. Yeah, and... um, I have an interesting theory that I will talk about in our Royal Rumble predictions. All right. So, there's that. I look forward to that one. Mm-hmm. You know me and my theories. It's true. They're almost as crazy as mine. <laughs> almost. I don't know about that. Um, so, we had uh, some uh, Bobby Lashley and Apollo Crews pose-off. Uh-huh. I-, I guess that's what you want to... Uh, Call it right? if 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 this was roughly around at the time that all the people stopped <laughs> watching the show, I get it. I I absolutely get it. Just disappointed we didn't get to see uh, Apollo Cruz with the money shot or whatever the hell uh, Leo Rush calls Bobby Lashley bending over. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah that was that was bad. Uh, so <laughs> hey, the the crowd was behind Apollo, which uh, I yes, mean, granted, yeah, no, that's fine. That's I like I like that. I like that they're pushing Apollo a little bit. Yeah. Um but the I fact hate the that, beard. Um but yeah, Lashley comes out for his title celebration and the best way to celebrate a title is to pose, I guess. And then Apollo goes comes out and he's like, This is stupid. Mm-hmm. And then I guess I, Lashley I mean uh Leo Rush said if you can outpose him you'll get a shot. Yeah. And then, you know, he did the usual Apollo, you've never been a champion, so mm. you're a loser, so on and so forth. Yep. Uh, uh, but yeah, they uh, ended up making him look like an idiot pretty much in the match. I mean, I like the way the finish went mm. with uh, what was Leo was attacking Apollo, right? Yeah, on his, was he on his shoulders? I honestly don't remember. I could have sworn he was on his shoulders and then Lashley hit him with a spear and, Apollo, and uh, Leo jumped off at the same time or something like that. Mm. It, it was a decent looking spot, whatever they did. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I mean... That was really nothing for Apollo. <laughs> no. Um, I mean, in the sense of the outcome, I mean, granted, Lashley just won it last week, so I get it. Well, I was going to say, you know, the idea of having him in a program with Lashley technically elevates him anyway. Yeah, and I guess the screwy finish, it kind of gives you a reason to move forward with it. Mm-hmm. So, so. I, I, I didn't think anything odd of it. Yeah. Because, like you said, he just won the title. He's not going to yeah, lose yeah, it right yeah, away, yeah, especially yeah. right before the Royal Rumble. It really wouldn't no. make any sense. There's yeah. no there's no storyline to be had when everyone's going after the Rumble. 
So that's fair. And this is one of the things that I was talking about previously, where they can you can set it up right. going into the elimination Post. chamber. Yeah, exactly. And you already have the seeds planted. Yeah. And because uh, if for whatever reason they have an elimination chamber match for the icy title, you know Apollo has mm. a stake to be in it. That's yeah. it. Yeah, I guess they're, it's it's they're possible. Not, they're not well, going to do it. Well, no, I I, 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 it, I agree. But yeah. I mean, you do have Seth, you do have Dean, you do have a, some other people you could throw in that match that have just recently been feuding for the IC title. So it wouldn't sound too crazy. Mm-hmm. You know, it's funny. Hmm. Um, there's going to be an elimination chamber match for the WWE Championship. Um, but is well, the, there's going to be one unless they do what they did last year. Only have one. Yeah, well, well they had two. One yeah. for women, one for men. Yeah, but I mean, the uh, didn't Reigns win it last year to be to face Lesnar at Mania, right? I was just getting to that. Oh, yeah, um, no, because the WWE Championship mm-hmm. on SmackDown, yeah, they have they have the champion there, right? He's right. A, he's a present figure. He is on Raw. He's not right. So if someone from Raw wins the Royal Rumble, mm-hmm. oh, okay. you don't yeah, need then. to have the number one contendership match. That's true. Which is funny because there's no reason from someone to, from SmackDown to win the Royal Rumble this it's year. True. Last year it made sense. This year it doesn't make any sense. Mm-hmm. And they were actually on the way to having it make sense until they made Shane and the Miz team together. So that's just that's the funny thing when you think about it. Because oh boy. storyline wise, why not have the Miz win the Royal Rumble and then, you know, do the right thing for Raw? And let there be a stakes match at the Elimination Chamber. It's true. Because there's nothing, they're not going to do anything. No. Yeah, I guess that's a fair point. So it, they really, they screwed themselves over because everyone... have never seen them do that before. I know, because everyone <laughs> wanted to, or would like to have seen Daniel Bryan versus The Miz at WrestleMania. That would be a good match. AJ and Daniel Bryan, if it does happen at WrestleMania, no one's going to care at that point. No, um, but I will say they've done a good job continuing the feud keeping it interesting daniel bryan's character is still very annoying i i understand that's what he's trying to do fantastic and it's good but like i don't still don't like the fact that they're trying to portray somebody who's technically trying to do the right thing in as a bad guy it's weird you know who runs the company right i know a bad guy there you go um so uh what was i gonna say but I just it, it makes a lot more sense, and it happened. I know it happened the last two years where mm-hmm. it's been SmackDown's won the Royal Rumble. Oh no, I don't but think it's going to happen this year. Every time it just makes sense the way it's set up because Lesnar is the champion. So what's the well? Actually, in two thousand seventeen, Lesnar wasn't the champion. No, Lesnar was, was in it. Yeah, that was uh, when Kevin the Owens was the champion. Yeah, yeah, because um, he beat Roman and then Roman. Yeah, but at the time. I think SmackDown had the Elimination Chamber anyway, mm. so it didn't matter. Right. Last year they That left. was when Bray won it, right? Yes. Yeah. So at that point, it was kind of irrelevant, mm-hmm. but now, you know, since both shows are there, like you might as well use, utilize the Elimination Chamber, but whatever, it doesn't matter. It's true. So either it way, true. or they'll just have the two Elimination Chamber matches the, for the women's tag team titles and then for the... Uh, for the wwe championship and that's fine too yep but i don't know i just they kind of while it is i guess doing the same thing you've done the last couple of years it still makes sense mm-hmm. so why stop it's doing it that's true it's of, fair of all the things that they choose to stop doing. well you know <laughs> anyway truth in that yeah uh seth versus drew mm-hmm. i didn't watch it because i didn't care oh <gasps> you didn't care about I mini me versus did, uh Dr. did Evil? care uh, well, this match has happened quite a number of times lately. Um, it pretty much just showed Ron's resilience. He kicked out of pretty much everything. Um, and then he ends up rolling him up for the win. So, I know there's no point to any of it. it no, but I mean, doesn't, Seth doesn't need this. No, but I think the whole point of this is to try to like take the two most logical winners of the Royal Rumble and kind of give them a spotlight. You know what I mean? It's true. In case for whatever reason people don't know who Seth or Drew are or what they can do. Okay. So that's my thought because they were both showcased very well in the match. Yeah. In terms they of what always they can, are, though. Yes. But I'm just saying, like, particularly, like, Drew did that upside down throw mm-hmm. thing again. I yeah. love it. It's so crazy how he can do that so easily. Um, but yeah, it was, it was a good match. Yep. 
But you're right. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. But it's just way. unnecessary. But yeah. That's They're trying I mean, to fill time. How many tag team matches do you want them to have? <laughs> <laughs> well, considering that was part of the reason why the Revival may have asked for their release yeah, is because of how pitiful the garbage. tag team division is. And obviously, they don't care about tag team wrestling. It's true. So, up next, the Revival want another title shot. Yep. Want to know something funny? What's that? I honestly thought they were going to on-screen fire the <laughs> Revival right there and then. And nah. then just keep them off TV. Possible. Because they, they went up to Vince. Mm-hmm. And I was like, oh, it wasn't fair, blah, blah, blah. And I was just expecting them to just fire them mm. on the spot. And then just, like I said, not well, have them on TV. You see, the problem with that is they'd be giving the Revival what they want. No, they wouldn't. Well, I, you, I guess you, that's you, true. You, you can say somebody's fired in kayfabe and that's then fair. just not let them wrestle. That's true. You can or very can easily do that. Take their bowl and go home. Be like Neville. Well, but at that point, it's, yeah, they're, they're screwed. Yeah. yeah. No, I know. They're just sitting around doing nothing. Mm-hmm. It's true. It is true. Uh, but yeah, they want another title shot. They say they want a referee that isn't going to be an idiot. And, you know, so eventually Kurt Hawkins gets made the referee. Well, it's funny because he was like off camera just oh, screaming, streak for streak, hey, right? Vince, <laughs> hey, Vince, hey, Vince, over and over again. You know, it's funny how everybody has called him Vince. But then last week when Jinder called him Vince, he looked like actually upset. And then when Jinder said Mr. McMahon. I'm gonna say, oh, or God. I'm not gonna. Please don't say. I'm what not you're gonna going say to what say. I think I'm gonna say. But I'm just. I there's there's a possible reason for that. Yeah. Just put it well, that it's way. funny because uh, when I was talking to the guys at work about about wrestling, because it came up, and mm-hmm. one of the guys was like, "Yeah, I stopped watching when Jinder was champion." I was like, mm, "Fair." Yeah, that's fair. Fair. Definitely fair. Um, yeah. Uh, Lucha House Party. Who did they face? Jinder. Oh yeah, they faced, oh yeah, the Singh brothers. Yeah. That's right, because it was the six man. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, it was Jinder and the Singh brothers against Lucha House Party. And I was like, when was the last time the Singh brothers actually wrestled on TV in their attire? I probably two hundred five live. Probably because they were in the suits when they faced AJ or the uh, Billy Stress shirts. They might have been wearing green gear. Yeah. Well, I guess taped wrists count yeah. as a uh, it's true. Gear. <laughs> it's true. Shane McMahon wrestles in a baseball t-shirt. Oh so. boy, yeah, we'll, we'll get to that in a little bit. Or whatever Shane McMahon calls what he does, I guess yep. is a better way of putting it. Um, Elias and Corbin had another match. Yeah, that was stupid. It was quick though. It's true, but it was still stupid. And Baron Corbin won. So fifty-fifty booking, I guess. Is no, he beat going. Elias last time too. I'm I'm sure there's times where Elias has beat him. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, no, that, no, no, that's, no that's absolutely. The, my, my point yeah, is, yeah, yeah. it's inconsequential nonsense. Oh yeah, no, absolutely. That, that Being, was that was the whole point I gotcha. of. I yep, wasn't cause... saying that. It's like this is a match that they had just to have it. Yeah. Um, yeah, Corbin. They're not going to do anything with no, him. No. All right. So this was actually I thought it was pretty good. The ending was dumb, but yeah, relatively well, pretty. Well, good. you know, it was, it, it was going to happen. What? You're talking about the moment of bliss? Yes. Yeah. It, where all the women... No, told, that that part didn't bother me. No, with the Royal Rumble. No, but I mean, they, they were going to have that regardless. Yeah. They just decided to Which put is it fine. in this segment. Yeah. yeah. No, that's not the part I didn't like. Um, I know what part you didn't like. Yeah. But. So uh, they have the moment of bliss, and then for whatever reason, all the women end up coming out one by one, and then they end up fighting and going backstage, brawling backstage. And then Bliss announces that she's coming back for the Rumble, mm-hmm. which is good news because she's been out for quite some time now. Sure. Um, so I guess they feel comfortable with her, I guess, her concussion status or whatever. Mm-hmm. Um, and then, for some reason, they had Lacey Evans come out and, you know, drop a boring, nonsensical promo. Yeah, so I guess Alexa's supposed to be a face? Big guy? Well, to be fair, she is the most popular woman in the roster, or one of the most popular women on the roster, on Raw. Which really isn't saying much. Well, I guess, <laughs> but she's probably either one or two, probably one, because ever since Becky disgraced Ronda, mm, leading into the virus, yeah. she's definitely lost a lot of. Yeah. So I, I would say she's probably number one on Raw. Mm, arguable, but that's fine. Well, who who would you say is number one? 
I mean, you make a good point. I would have said maybe Sasha or someone like that. But it's, I, again, I she think, hasn't done anything. Yes. So, and yeah. She hasn't been put in a situation where she needs to go up against people. She's just been egging people on. It's true. I, I guarantee if you put her up against Sasha, she's going to oh, get Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. No. So, We've seen it before. Yeah. So, um, but yeah, I, I guess maybe they'll have a spot in the Rumble where Lacey Evans and Alexa are... I don't know. But that's going to end up leading to yeah, nothing. I'm, I'm not a fan of her yeah. gimmick and it's, all that it's, stuff. It's silly. Yeah. And it would work in the independence, but I don't think... Uh, yeah, it's it's too... Uh, I don't know. I guess it's too heat-provoking, like intentionally. Well, kind of like mean, the Elias character. Yeah, I guess. Like it's a little too on the nose. Yeah. I mean, some things are good like that, but... Yeah. Just, we, it could be good. We, yeah, we that's true, yeah. Um, and then we have the Ascension versus Heavy Machinery yeah, in their we, first main roster match. Yeah, we talked a little about this earlier. Yep, the Ascension heavy. going out there to do their job. Mm -hmm. And uh, Heavy Machinery obviously wins. Surprise, surprise. Yeah. And then we have the title match, the Revival versus uh, Rude and Gable for mm -hmm. the tag team titles with yep. uh, Kurt Hawkins as the referee. He fit the role well. He did. And he looked like a referee. He did. Um so basically, the revival kept on trying to cheat to win, mm -hmm. and Kurt Hawkins was catching him every single time. Yep. And then eventually, what was it? Oh, uh, you got rolled up, I think, Dawson. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah that's right. Um, and then they, after the match, the revival attacks him, and then Zack Ryder comes out. And I'm like, Zack Ryder? Yeah. And then I remembered, and because they, they, they made mention to it, that they used to be a team together. Yep. They were the Edgeheads. They are. They also have a podcast together. Oh, okay. Yeah, I they do all uh, wrestling figure stuff. Oh, okay. I guess yeah. that all makes sense. Um, I mean, you know, good for Ryder to do something with him. It makes sense. I mean, he equaled his 2018 Raw, um, uh, yeah, appearances. appearances yeah. yeah. Um, so that's good. That's something. Yeah, good. that's, that's true. Start. Was, you know, only in the third, first month, third, uh, third week. week of the year. Yeah. yeah. Um, so I'm guessing probably we'll get Hawkins and Ryder versus the Revival. Probably. <laughs> I don't see why. Oh, would. boy. Whatever. It is what it is. Yeah. Um, yeah, because we haven't really seen anything of Hawkins outside, you know, no, in ring. I think he's been wise. doing mostly house show, um, losses. Yeah. So, because there's really no reason and to have maybe him main on event. TV. There's no reason to have him on TV. No, no, not at all. Um, we have Ronda Rousey dropping a very strange promo. You know what's funny? So I texted you after it happened, and I said, I had to mute my TV because that was terrible. Just kind of rambling. I went on to Twitter, and there were so many people praising it, saying it sounded so realistic and all. Like, Bubba Ray had... Well, it, it seemed... Like, I get it. Like, the way... It's not that the way it came across. It was... The, the words? Yeah. Yeah. You're, you're telling Sasha you're off being a boss. You don't care about the championship? What? Yeah. Who writes this shit? Yeah. It... I don't know. It was a little nonsense. That was, that's just my... Yeah. But, to be fair, like, like they, I guess they had said, is that at least you, you kind of feel like she is behind what she's saying. I guess. Like, there's been times where people, like, are saying things where you don't really believe that they care about what they're talking about i guess that's so, true whatever either way yep doesn't really matter and that brought us to our main event mm -hmm. ronda and natalia versus sasha and bailey yep um i enjoyed this all that four women did a good job natalia looked really strong in this match mm -hmm. like i don't know i've always been very critical of natalia um well she's supposed to be one of the better women's wrestlers right and it's not even that it's just the way she moves in the ring it looks very stiff and kind of mm. i don't know Corey like very rehearsed and stuff like that like she's going through the motions mm. but here it looked i thought she did a, a good job and i thought all four women the story was good they, they put together a good match yeah. and uh Ronda technically lost her first match. Uh, a fact that they're probably not going to acknowledge. No, 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 so. no. Doesn't matter that we pushed the hell out of Asuka. Uh, you know, if she had lost during the mixed match challenge, it would have counted as a loss against her. Yep. But this, no, no, no. Yeah, because I guarantee you leading into whatever match she ends up losing first, it's going to be that she's undefeated. Yep, which so. could be this Sunday. Uh, but they didn't. No, I know. So... I feel like that that's kind of telling that they're... Yeah, I, I guess that's true. You think they're going to do what they did with Asuka, more or less? They 
probably. played up the streak. Uh, so I would imagine much. that's probably going to be what's yeah. going, what the storyline is going into WrestleMania this yeah, year. Yeah, that's fair. No matter what the match is. Mm-hmm. So, I mean, over a year ago, we thought it was going to end up being streak for streak. Ronda versus Asuka, had she continued it? Yeah, I guess. I, I'm sure our opinions of how they booked Asuka were a little different about oh, a year yeah. ago. Oh, yeah. So, that's fair. Even though she is right now... I realize she was going to run into Carmella. Yeah. And and right now, <laughs> she is the SmackDown Women's Champion, yeah. which is kind of funny when you think about it. Yep, absolutely. So, But, you know, moving on to SmackDown. Yep. Um, SmackDown was SmackDown, which is generally better than Raw. But, um, I don't know. I couldn't really get into it, partially, because I was exhausted. There was a lot of matches to be matches. That was about it. Oh, you just you mean like a lot of non- there was a lot of wrestling, yeah, yeah, and not a whole lot of story. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there there was some things that were um, like all right. So we don't really need to talk about Becky and Oscar. They've already done enough building well, to it. The whole the whole purpose of that opening segment was just to you know get the crowd into it. Yeah, it yeah, seemed yeah, like yeah. yeah. Because and anytime then they fought backstage too, and yeah. that was it. Anytime Becky's out on on the screen, mm-hmm. the fans go nuts. So yeah. it is definitely a, str- a strong way to start the show every week. Yeah, yeah, they always respond very well. So which they should, but you know, I've seen people randomly on Twitter going, "Oh, I'm done with Becky." You know, Becky, the well, hype's they're, over. They're by themselves then. And there's some people. There are some not, people that feel that way. There's not a whole lot of people though. That's yeah, for there sure. There are people though, and there always will be people. It's true. But nobody can like everybody. It's true. All right, so we had the uh, long-anticipated match of Naomi versus Mandy Rose. Um, I really liked the way the match started out, mm-hmm. where Naomi attacked Mandy as she was making her entrance with Sonya. It shows that they have, or she's like actually right. Mad. And the crowd started getting into it, mm-hmm. and then we went to picture and picture. We saw some good stuff, like Mandy hit a, a really nice running knee that mm-hmm. knocked. Naomi hit to the outside, and then the match fell flat. It got kind of sloppy, and I was disappointed. Well, Naomi has proven that she's probably the most athletic woman yeah. on the roster, but at the same time, she kind of tries to go a little overboard. So she gets over ambitious. Well, it's not she, like she's wrestling Charlotte or Becky. That's or also like true. That, you also know? true. She's the one that's actually probably yep. leading the dance, mm-hmm. so to speak. Because Mandy is kind of proven that she's pretty talented. She's, she's not. She's not at the level of the other people. No, she. But she, there's definitely um, potential. Yeah, potential there. Yeah. and I think she's got good character work too. Oh, fantastic! So yeah. she's probably one of these days going to be. Um, up there, we're, we're going to talk about that in our Royal Rumble uh, predictions. Video. I like it. I like yeah. it. We got speculation. I, I got. I got we're not going to go insight. the boring route and assuming that because as of right now, there's really only in in like logically, there's mm-hmm. only two winners to each of the matches. Yeah. So mm-hmm. if we're if we're talking about like curveballs, because they have done it in the past, they have. No one thought Randy Orton was going to win the no. Royal Rumble uh, two th- two years ago. Uh, last year was a little more mm-hmm. predictable because they kept on talking about the dream match. And, yeah, I mean, oh, so forget about it. But, and, and then a- we Asuka learned that being, that is not the story route you go for matches. It's true because then you're just going to end up disappointing everybody. Yes, because nothing ever li- lives up to the hype. It's true. It's true. Um, anyway, so you have an idea for what's going on. We'll talk about that later. We will. For now, we'll move on to... Well, Mandy picked up the win after oh. smashing Naomi into the... Turn uh, turn. Yeah, yeah, the uh, because, ring post. Yeah, because yeah. Sonya, um, which is we distracted her again. It's one of those things. And it, this was a fine finish here. I didn't mind it at all. But yeah, like, no. some matches you'll get this happening, and it'll just be normal. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah. So, but, yeah, but, fine. Um, another uh, good contender for mm-hmm. uh, uh, women's tag team champions as well. Yeah, it's Mandy, Mandy, and Sonya. I think that Absolutely. they would be fine. Mm-hmm. I think they'd be a fitting, certainly a fitting heel opponent for a Sasha and Bailey. A good first opponent at the very least. Yeah, um, they'll have a good showing in the elimination chamber match too. Most likely, yeah. So. Yeah, they were uh, they were good last year in the elimination chamber mm-hmm. when they we uh, they had matching gear. Yeah, they were both wearing the white, which is kind of weird, mm-hmm. but it kind kind of made sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and we had Miz versus Cesaro. Mm-hmm. So this was after last week Miz faced Sheamus mm-hmm. um, after the birthday celebration. So there's Got cake all over the place. Yeah. Um, Cesaro picks up the victory with the neutralizer. An interesting finisher. 
He just he's been using it forever. Oh, yeah. yeah, no, yeah. I know. It's okay. just very interesting. Yeah, he just likes grabbing people in the crotch. That's really what it is. Hey, you know it's whatever works thing. for him. It's a Swiss thing. Um, yeah, the this uh, Shane took a beating after the match. He, did. Uh, he laid Cesaro out on the table. That went for the kick. Oh, oh my God! Did you? <laughs> I watched the clips online. You just see Seamus's foot hitting yeah. uh, Shane's face, and it like sometimes like, you're like, uh, "Did it really make oh, contact?" That, that one contact. did. That one did. Oh, and then throwing him through the table yeah. was nice too because they picked him up with ease. Yeah. Well, you got to remember, Shane probably doesn't weigh quite as much as some of the other people. No, it's true. Do. Like they've been wrestling the New Day. Mm. Big E is. He's a big boy. He's got some beef. He lives up to the name Big E. Yeah. Um. <laughs> Remember when the big show was with them? It's true. <laughs> For the two months or whatever, if you... Oh, man. So, uh, but yeah. Shane and the Miz get the crap kicked out of them. Yep. So that means that they're definitely going to lose at the Royal Rumble. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. We got a, a face-to-face confrontation between AJ Styles and Daniel Bryan. I liked this. Daniel Bryan refru- refused to get into the ring. Okay. I don't like the premise of him being heel but the actual presentation is good he's been doing a good job of keeping aj and daniel bryan going yeah i guess because aj has kind of been the because like the 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 feud has gone through twists and turns that's true it has it's become more heated yeah um because aj is still kind of like the generic baby face Mm -hmm. who is going up against the bad guy yep so he really he's been good but the, his character hasn't developed through yeah, it. I mean, it's a baby face. It's just the way they book him. I, yeah, That's I know. the problem. Yeah. So, and Daniel Bryan's been, like, very protective of the title and showing passion and everything because AJ kind of just wants to beat him to beat him kind of yeah. thing. Yeah, and, it, I mean, we saw that a couple weeks ago with Vince wanting AJ to show this new aggression and whatnot. And- yeah. And kind of Dan Bryan's been the one who's been doing yeah, it. Yeah, a little bit. I mean, yeah. we saw some from AJ, what was it, last week, right? When he attacked him yeah. in the stands. Or no. No, he walked up. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Came out and randomly <laughs> went up through the stands. Yeah, that was so weird. Yeah. Um, but, but this week it was just, you know, he was in the ring. Vince was yelling at Daniel Bryan to get in the ring. Yeah. And then Daniel Bryan blamed him for the economy and everything else. Well, his generation, yeah. which I don't think he's actually a baby boomer anyway. I read something online. It was like he, he was like born a year later or something like that. Uh, that's, that's yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. Years. No, I know. It was just funny. Yeah. Um, and it was then, just like uh, when people, you know, with the whole millennial thing that we oh, talked yeah, about, yeah, when yeah. people blame millennials and don't realize they're a millennial uh-huh. themselves. It's true. It's funny. Um, but yeah, uh, Vince tries to get Daniel Bryan to come into the ring. He refuses. Mm-hmm. AJ's like, well, face to face confrontation doesn't need to be in the ring anyway. So he goes outside, chases him around, throws him in the ring. Um, goes for the forearm. Daniel Bryan pulls Vince in front of him. AJ drops down. Daniel Bryan hits a running knee, mm-hmm. and then he runs away. And he runs. So that was it. He um, is living the gimmick, though. Coming out looking like a bum and stuff. It's true. He just needs that hemp belt. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> King Ross is still our, just Ross. He's just uh, waiting for that day. That's true. Well, he, he had, did say that he was going to get a new belt when he won it, and yeah. it's been months now. Mm-hmm hypocrite yep <laughs> yep oh yeah aj got the crowd to yell fickle at oh Ryan. yeah, yeah that's yeah, pretty good did. yeah um and then uh that was it mm-hmm. carmella and our truth are walking down the uh oh this the is backstage funny. area i wasn't gonna bother writing this on the notes until i kind of like mm-hmm. got through more of it and that uh our truth actually seemed like he was interested in Joining winning the rumble yeah the men's yeah. rumble yes at that. the men's rumble he didn't yeah. say he was going to enter on, the, the royal rumble yeah. and then getting confused and entering the women's one on accident so while i would very much like the idea of him trying to enter the women's rumble match i do want to see carmella in the women's rumble yeah. match so at the same time i kind of don't want him to do it <laughs> truth line to him but carmella has forfeited the rumble yeah so um but yeah, no, he said he he wants to go on to face either AJ Styles or Daniel Bryan. And then Carmella's like, what about Brock Lesnar? And he's like, I don't want to go to Souffle City or something like that. Yeah. It, <laughs> yeah Suplex it City, like that. that either. Yeah. It storms off. Yeah, he's funny. Yeah, he's a character. Um, And then Carmella runs into Charlotte. Um, 
Charlotte just says she's going to win the Rumble, basically. And Carmella Charlotte's says she's the queen of Gucci, right? Pretty bland lady uh, lately. La- lady? Bland That's lady? It. I mean, I don't know. Uh, the, when the focus isn't solely on her, you know? I guess it's kind of hard to... Because they're probably telling her to not be too, I guess, interesting. Yeah. Because she's not, I guess, I don't know. Even though she is one of the favorites to win the Women's Rumble anyway. So you would think that she'd be a little more... Yeah. I don't know. Either way. Because mm-hmm. she's like kind of the, needs to be the focus, but at the same time, she can't be the focus. That's fair. It's, it's weird. Yeah. It's very no, weird. No, no, I get it. I get it. Uh, we got Joe versus Mustafa Ali. This match was supposed to take place last week. However, Samoa Joe beat up Ali before the match took place. Yeah. So he got three matches this week, mm-hmm. or the match this week, I should yeah. say. Um, they had a video package earlier in the show with Mustafa Ali explain or figuring out why Joe attacked him. Mm-hmm. It was it was pretty good. Yeah. Um, he he's, he's he's got a good character. Yeah. Basically, he said that he uh, he can read anybody just by looking in their eyes Mm -hmm. and that joe the reason why he attacked him was because he was because he was i don't remember what his reasoning was now now (laughs) i think about it i think it was more obvious than that probably i I don't think it was because he was afraid Mm -mm. but it was something along yeah probably because he was a threat or something like that yeah Um, i would assume that's what it is so anyway they had the match joe ends up winning yep choking Uh, him out so, which is a but little Mustafa tapped rather than passed out. I yeah, think. I always like that. But you know, it is what it is. Yep. Kind of just trying to make Joe seem like a threat again because mm-hmm. they've done such a bad job of that in the past. Yeah. Um, and then we have Mysterio versus Almas, a two out of three falls match. Yeah. Uh, I was, well, I was a little surprised when I saw that they were going to do this match on SmackDown, mm-hmm. but uh, I was also worried. I was like, oh, they're gonna. They're going to end up burning this feud out before it goes Well, anywhere. that is what I was referring to when when I texted you last night about them kind of finding things oh, that are oh, working. Oh, I gotcha. And then like beating them Fair to enough. the ground. Fair enough. Because um, between Becky you yeah, know, yeah, opening yeah. the show... I knew that's what you were referring to. I, that makes sense, though, yeah. while they did it. Mm-hmm. But, but... Um, so I don't remember. I know Almas won the first full. I don't remember. Oh, he hit that top row power bomb, the sit-out power bomb. Okay. Yeah. Like well, I said, whatever I they call it. I don't it. remember the details. I don't remember but... the exact. But yeah, he actually went to the top rope and mm-hmm. hit a power bomb. It was nice. That's cool. Yeah. I'm and sure then... it's probably a little easier to do with Mysterio. Than oh yeah. Than yeah. Else, yeah. So. Uh, the Mysterio picked up the second fall with the. Uh, I think he hit the Canadian Destroyer again. Makes sense. Yeah, they like that move. Um, but but you know, if, this... if they can perform it safely, mm-hmm. I I would imagine that's why they oh, feel yeah, yeah. comfortable Absolutely. with the two of well, them. Well, they even. Um, I think uh, Ray hit. Almost with a, oh, sorry, he's just Andrade now. Yes. Um, hit him with a reverse Rana. And usually that spot can look pretty dangerous, but the way they did it, you saw the actual view and it looked good. Uh-huh. Um, did you see that raised slide sunset power bomb onto the outside? No. Yeah, it was a nice I should spot. go back and watch that yeah. match. Yeah, yeah, no, it was, it was good. Yeah. I um, the, the problem was I saw the finish and I didn't care mm-hmm. about how it ended. So that's probably the reason why I wasn't yeah. really that they interested in going back. They had one botch in the match, but that was just something they tried to do that didn't work that Ray used in WCW on Eddie Guerrero at one point. Uh-huh. Um, but, uh, I, I would say that having one botch in a match that goes oh, this yeah, far yeah. No, 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 I know, but it would have been it would have been a great otherwise. spot. I don't, I don't know if anything's ever flawless. Well, but, but yes, 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 yeah, 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 yeah. No, for, they, for a WWE match this day and age, I think yeah. I think there's really not that's, a whole lot of uh, outside the box you can. That's true. So. I wonder how well this will be uh, received as far as viewers go, because I think the longer matches do take a lot of the casual viewers out of it. Because well, I think that was a big part of the Attitude Era. There was shorter matches. A lot of the matches didn't last nearly as most long as of they them do now. didn't end like cleanly no 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 very rarely yeah. did they but all right since, since a lot of matches actually ended with stone cold steve austin coming out <laughs> just beating the crap yeah, out of people that, you play the hot hand but they don't understand that now yeah. sometimes because i would imagine if you watch like a random raw from like the 1999 98 probably if he wasn't hurt he probably came out and interviewed in most matches yeah, there was a, lot, a lot of times he did yeah and uh, i mean granted you know obviously it's a different era now the wrestling is much better than it was it's true but you have different styles. People are more athletic now. Their bodies are in better shape than they were. <laughs> that is true. 
That's it's really true. not, uh, you know, doing bumps in, in the back and stuff like that. But um, anyway, we were speaking about interference. And Samoa Joe, Matt's favorite wrestler. Damn fat guy. <laughs> ends up costing uh, Mysterio the match, right? I mean, I don't know if the match got thrown out, but he attacked Mysterio after he hit the 619. So I guess, he, technically speaking, Mysterio won. I, I guess. I think that was who he attacked, right? I would imagine so. I don't see why he would attack Almas. He, he attacked Almas after that. He threw him into yes, the turnbuckle. Yeah, but, but yeah, I get your point. Theoretically speaking. Mm -hmm. So Joe ends up like, oh, he's the big guy yep. going into Royal Rumble. All and then a sudden, out of nowhere. And, well, because <laughs> anytime they zoom in like that, you know something's happening off screen mm -hmm. um and it was perfect that they had randy orton do that oh yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, because a he wasn't showcased at all on the show he hasn't been on a couple weeks right i don't remember i can't like, i was thinking that but yeah. i can't speak for sure um but orton our him out of nowhere even though obviously the crowd song yeah, um, yeah yeah um was a good way to end the show because Agreed. orton is always going to be a fan favorite and if there's any kind of presence of his like it you know it's just always like, gets a big pop yeah always. so it's a good way to end the show going into the royal rumble um and i, I think that if anything that's going to help people be more interested i mean so we have the u.s title match that's going to be on the pre-show mm -hmm. absolutely nothing this week at all to no. build up. Mm -mm, they just no. promoted the matches it was going Shinsuke's to case had that title since october and or had no. that title yeah. from October to, what, the end of December? Yeah, I think so. And he was on TV, what, three times Something maybe like in that, that span? Something like that. So Remember when uh, Shelton Benjamin was on? Talking about, was he talking about his 2019 or 2018? Or I don't remember. He was on somewhat I rem recently. I remember. I, I think remember. that was like the New Year's Yeah, day. maybe it was his resolution or something like yeah. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hasn't been on TV since. Nope. So, but yeah. whatever. No, yeah, and, but SmackDown seems to do that. You'll just get like... We said with Orton, he was randomly not there for weeks at a time. Where's Jeff Hardy been? Is he hurt? Is he taking time off? He's in the Rumble, I think. Probably. I'm huh? pretty sure he is. Yep, there he is. Yeah. I don't see him, but I believe yeah. you. Oh, there he is. Yeah, there's Seth. He is one of the uh, yeah, some earliest in WWE's Twitty, 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 Twitty page. Just a Twitter Twitter page. Twitty page. Um, but yeah, so. Um, oh, hmm. It says Randy Orton announced on SmackDown Live that he was going to be in the Royal Rumble. Uh, it was probably one of the commentators that said it yeah because it was yesterday yeah that's weird but well whatever whatever yeah. so uh yeah, it was, it was, it was smackdown wasn't bad no yeah, it was fine so but uh yeah well that was what episode 28 of our podcast mm -hmm. you can check us next for our royal rumble predictions video mm -hmm. and that's it if you liked what you saw here please like share and subscribe bye bye